Hello there, this is Dr. Lee Zeitz, and I'd like to take you on a quick tour of going through the Iowa Core Curriculum. This is the Iowa Core Curriculum website, and this is what we use to guide the um, expectations of students that and what they, they will learn and achieve in our schools. Now, <clears throat> let me begin. I mean, you'll notice that on the opening page, they talk about grade and subject and, and the Iowa Core Essential Elements. Actually, this is something we're not going to get into, but is set up for students with significant cognitive disabilities. You may find it interesting to go through and take a look. But the Iowa Core curriculum is set up with uh, 13 grades, K through 12. And in there, we have five subject areas. We have literacy, mathematics, science, social studies, and 21st century skills, which is a conglomeration of things such as literacy, technology, um, real life skills, that sort of thing. Now, there's two areas that they talk about. They talk about the broader area, which is the essential concepts or goals. That's the overall topic of study. Measurement and data would be an example of that. You know, that's what we're talking about. But when we talk about more specifically, what is it we expect the students to be able to do? Those are the skills and objectives. You know, like the specific outcomes with active verbs. Remember, not like understand or comprehend, but when we talk about hots and lots and those things that we've, we've already learned about, we talk about action verbs like to make a line plot to display a data set. You can tell if a student is able to make a line plot to display a data set. Um, it isn't something that is intuitive or something. So let's go over and take a look at the iowacore.gov. Now when we open this up, what we're going to do is we're, we're going to go and we're going to begin by selecting a grade. I want to work with the fifth grade. I used to teach fifth grade and really enjoyed that level. And what I'd like to do is I want to do a project where we're, we're doing some experimentation. And with this experimentation, I mean, you know, something about plants and that sort of thing, because that's going to fit into the, the, the thematic unit that we're doing. So let's take a look in mathematics. <clears throat> if we go to mathematics, we can click in here and they talk about, if you want to see all the mathematics core information, that's over here in these uh, PDF and, and Word documents. You should read through this area this, about the standards. And then down here at the bottom, we have the um, essential concepts and, and goals. So if we, let's take a look at the measurement and data one. And if we go in a little bit deeper, we'll see that one of them has to do with representing and interpreting data. That's something that we want to do. Now this, to represent and interpret data, that's specific to a certain degree. Can a student represent and interpret data? But let's be even more specific. If you take a look under this one where it says measurement and data, um, this is make a line plot to display a data set of measurements in fractions of a unit, one half, one quarter, and one eighth. Now this is very specific. The, these are action words. I mean, to make is an active word. And this would be a skill or objective. So here's one thing that we're going to take a look at. In other words, the students that we're going to be working with are going to have be do, doing this and proving they can do this in mathematics. We'll go back to fifth grade. Now what we'll do is we will select science. And let's go into science. And under science, let's go down to life science because we're going to be doing, we would like to do something dealing with uh, plants. And now we talk about molecules to organisms or ecosystems. I think that molecules to organisms is pretty much what we want to do. And, um, oh, and let, let's go back one on that. And that is that molecules to organisms is going to be your essential concept or goal. And then when we move in here, we take a look at an active process, you know, the active verb, which is to support an argument that plants get the materials they need for growth chiefly from air and water. So we could create a, um, an experiment that would fit into what they, you know, where we could chart things and that sort of stuff like we talked about in the mathematics area. But this would be one where we, we have some plants that are getting lots of, of air and lots of water. We have other plants that don't get much, and we look at comparisons of growth. You see how that would support an argument that plants get their materials that they need from air and water. So that's number two. Now the important thing is we should be able to write this up as well. See, we can kill three birds with one stone on this one. And so what we're going to do is we're going to go over here and we're going to take a look at writing standards. And under writing standards, let's take a look at, and, and the writing standards is going to be our, um, uh, we, we, we've got, this is the area that we're talking about. 
and then to research and build present knowledge. That is going to be our uh, essential concept and goal. And then down here it says uh, conduct, and that's w.5.7, um, conduct research, short research projects that use several sources to build knowledge through investigation of different aspects of a topic. So in other words, after we've gone through and done, done the research as we did in the science, and then we've created graphs like we were using in the math, we could then come in and we could write about it. And that's part of the process. So we've got all three parts of these, which are going to be very useful. And what does this look like? Well, if I go back here and take a look at the next page, this is a little bit out of focus, I'm sorry, but, but what we're looking at is this is the way that breaks down. And this is how you would put it at the end of your thematic paper. We talk about in mathematics, it's the measurement and data, essential concept and goal. And over here is a skill and objective that we're talking about. Make a line plot to display a data set. Over here we talk about science. And with science, and then over here, we're talking about that this is the uh, essential goal. That's the molecules and organisms. And here we talk about support an argument that plants get the materials that they need, much like what we saw earlier. And then down here, we talk about literacy. And here's your essential concept and goal. And down here, we say that conduct short uh, research projects. So in other words, what we've just done is this is a table that encapsulates and, and, and demonstrates the different project parts of the, the, uh, uh, the Iowa core curriculum that we're going to be addressing by having the students do a specific piece of research. Well, I hope that this has been useful and I hope that this is uh, something that is going to make more sense as, as time goes on. Please contact myself or any of your professors or graduate assistants if you have any questions about this and have a great week.